If you know how to use CSS, it's just as simple as displaying and hiding the PNGs. For that, you just need to use the media queries. But uh, what happens if you don't know or you're not familiar with CSS? Well, let's try to make it simple. I have created this file that is called media query. Let's open it with Atom. Atom is the text editor that I usually use to code. So as you can see, these are the media queries. What I say is, if the screen is at least 730 pixels, hide the tablet version and the two mobile versions. So if you're hiding those three, you're just showing the desktop version. When the uh, screen goes from 450 pixels to 729, hide the desktop and the two mobile versions. So it's showing the tablet version. And what happens when it goes from 360 pixels to 449 pixels? It's hiding the desktop version, tablet version, and the, mo the second version of the mobile. So it's showing the, the wider mobile version. And the last one is when the, the mask width is 359. That is hiding the desktop version, the tablet version, and the wider version of mobile. What I'm going to do is to copy this code and I'm going to open the HTML H file created by the script with Atom and I'm going to paste my media queries under the tag style but inside before before the closing tag and out of the curly bracket. So I pasted them. Let me show you something else. As you can see here it has an ID and it says test HTML2, which is the name of the file of, of the Illustrator file and the name of the HTML file. And it says tablet, mobile one, mobile two, and desktop. So what it's doing is reading the name of the file, the Adobe Illustrator file, and the name that we put to the artwork. This is important. If you use my code, please remember to change the name of the file here. So if you call it, I don't know, I love my code. So right here, I love my code because that's the name of the file that you have created in Illustrator. And when you support it with the script, it will be the name that gave to the HTML file. Let's get rid of that. If you didn't call tablet to the tablet version or mobile to the mobile version, but you call it small, bigger and biggest, however you call it, change it here. So now that I have, to, I have done that, let's see what happens. Here it is. So you can see we have the desktop version. We have a tablet version. A mobile version and a smaller mobile version. 